This is ridiculous. I mean, I don't even know what this proves. I don't think this is about proving anything, Michael. This is about punishment. Cass has a target on his chest, but he's had that for a while now. Oh, man. Oh, no. What a shot to Vader. You hear how his leg connected? And there's the drop kick. Ooh, Vader's got to be seeing stars after that. Would you listen to this crowd show their appreciation for these amazing competitors? This time. Uh oh. Oh, tremendous right hand to the temple. We all thought that when Kevin Ash arrived a few months back, we'd finally get some order. But we couldn't imagine how bad things would get. Yeah, every week things get more out of control. Again with the elbow. Watch it! Cast to the top turnbuckle. Oh no! <laughs> the tag is made. There's the suplex. Now that's how you do it. Intercepted. What a move by Cass. Jacob Cass was successful against Vader, but now he has to completely... Ah! into the air for a flying forearm. Jacob Cass into the headlock. Oh! Down in the corner, not where you want to be. He's got evil intentions. Steiner. A move like that is pretty dangerous for anyone involved. A lot of things can go wrong there. And he tags out. Jacob Cass counters it. And Jacob Cass connects. Got the arm up. Watch out here. A tough jawbreaker there. 
We're going to see a lot of effective moves like that in this match. He drops the elbow. Look at the eyes of Jacob Cass. Great reaction. Nice counter by Cass. Booker T stands six and a half feet tall, runs around 250 pounds. So dangerous is Booker with his array of kicks and high impact moves. Is it just me or does Booker T seem to be playing with Cass? Well, Jacob Cass has just gone through the legendary Monster Vader and the second generation superstar Cody Rhodes. I'm just not sure how much those strikes have left on him. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. Hey, he's going for it again. The intensity. Yeah, what a move. What's over there? wants to end this young man's career. Do it. He can set through the ring. Oh, my God. It's him. It's him. Listen to this place, Michael. It's unbelievable. We haven't seen Triple H since he retired. You know, Kev, I knew when you asked me to put in a word for you at the board of directors that I was sticking my neck out for a buddy. But I never thought you'd take it this far. So friendship or not, click or not, WWE is my family. And at this point in my life, that means more to me than this. So here's the thing, Kev. You're out. I'm the new general manager of SmackDown and Raw. And as for your little plans and elimination chamber, they're scrapped. I'll let you know more this Sunday. But one thing you should know, Kev, is that as for the elimination chamber, you're still one of the participants. And Kev, that's just too sweet. Finally! Finally!
Finally, order has been restored in WWE. Oh, thank you, Triple H.